Hello everybody, here Rene from Spain with a new video and in this video I want to talk a little bit about Rock the Nations the 8th studio album by Saxon and uh, this came out after the Innocent is No Excuse album and before the, um, the Dynasty album I, I thought somebody's coming in but nobody's coming in Destiny, sorry, the Destiny album. I was just paying attention to the door, but nobody's coming in because I'm recording this video from the shop. I always love this artwork. I think it's one of the best artworks that Saxon ever had on any of their uh, albums. I think it's just incredible. I still have the tape version. This is actually not an original tape. You see? It looks like original, but it's not. But here we have, of course, the album. I will also show the back. Later I will also show you some other things I have. Like the singles and the CD versions. But here we have the track list. With a great start, like Rock the Nations and Battle Cry. I think it's a great start for an album. Then we have the more commercial Waiting for the Night. There was a single. Same as Rock the Nations was a solo single. We came here to rock. I think it's an underrated song. You Ain't No Angel. It sounds very American. Very like like maybe Van Halen maybe. And David Lee Roth. You know that type of um, style. Running Hot. It's okay. Party Till You Puke. It's with Elton John on, on the piano. Empty Promises. A Northern Lady, again with Elton John, like a guest musician. And that was also a single. That was actually the third single. And this was recorded in the Netherlands at Wisselor Studios, produced by Gary Lyons. This is the inlay of the album. Also, you can see here the song lyrics some cool photos of the band and this came out under the label Amy and like I said they released three singles the Northern Lady single with two this is actually the 12 inch that's why you have two tracks on the b-side that you can see here waiting for the night Maxi single, 12 inch, again with two songs on the B-side, Chase the Fate, it's a song that could have been on the album, this is an unreleased track, and, but they put it on the B-sides of the Waiting for the Night single, and then we, here we have the Rock the Nations uh, 12 inch single, and this is Clear vinyl. This is also released like a picture disc. And again, two songs on the B side. Very cool photo by the band. They had a new bass player in the band for this album. But to be honest, all the bass parts were done by Biff Biff Byford. Because before, a sing uh, before he was a singer, uh, he was a bass player. And he did all the bass playing on this album, but he didn't get the credit for it. You know, he just... Because he, they wanted the band to look like a real band. And that's why they got when they got this bass player, they put his name. Uh, like, that, like if he had played the bass on the album. But it was not him, it was Biff Byford. I also want to show these two uh, remastered versions of the album with bonus tracks here we have the 2010 release re-release okay with bonus tracks and here we have the 2018 uh, re-release on bmg this one still came out under the label of amy and this is bmg and it has the same bonus tracks both editions have the same bonus tracks And it sounds amazing, really. The CD versions, 
They sound really, really good. Plus, you got a lot of liner notes where they explain things, things about about the album. You know uh, how the, the record, recordings were, where, what happened at the studio. It's very, very cool. See here, also again. See a lot of the albums were re-released in 2010, but also later on again in 2018, only with the BMG label. I think BMG bought maybe all the rights of the Sata of the Saxon uh, catalog. Okay, guys and girls, I hope you I hope you like this uh, video. For me, it's like an eight out of ten. This album. I really, really enjoy listening to it. It's a fun album to listen. It takes you back to the 80s, that's for sure. Um, it's heavier than Innocent is No Excuse from 85. And also heavier than the one album that came after this one. Uh, that was Destiny. It's just a great record. Okay, Rock the Nations. Take care, everybody.